welcome to Gina's Goodies. I'm the husband, Alan, and today we're going to play with the new Polar Camel 30-ounce water bottles. These have just come out onto the market. As you can see, this bottle has a very wide opening. It is easy to get an ice, ice in there, and that double-wall aluminum construction is going to keep your cold beverages cold all day. Or, if hot's how you roll, crazy easy to pour in 30 ounces of your favorite hot beverage and stay warm through whatever shows you. These water bottles are available from JDS Industries. Likely some other vendors will be carrying them soon. They're fully customizable via sublimation. We'd love to make one for you. Let's go to the shop and see how that's done. All right, so we're ready to build the stack. For this, you're going to need your water bottle, some heat fix tape, your image, keeping in mind because if your image has printing on it that you have made sure to flip it horizontally because it's gonna end up coming out reversed on the other side. You're also going to need a piece of scratch paper. So, what you do, take your water bottle, having removed the straw and top, because those don't are involved in this. Make sure that there's no paper inside or, or any packing material or anything like that. Take your image, center the image on the water bottle, top bottom, and then come around to the, come around to the ends and pull as tight as you can and make sure you can see through the paper. This may not come across in the video well, but you can kind of see the paper, especially if you have a black image. You want to make sure that the two, that the corners line up and that you're nice and tight and that everything looks square. It's not as important if you're doing an image that's just a little circle. It's going to be way far off on the side, but since this kind of goes all the way around, it's good. And then you take some heat, heat press tape. Less tape is better than more tape, and you want to make sure... <laughs> and you want to make sure that you put your tape off of the image. If you put the tape on an image, it ends up causing a problem where you'll get you'll get a shadow of the tape on your image, and that's not good. And then you want to put another piece over here on the other side, again, in the margins, okay? If you want to put one in the, in the middle here, you can. It's not really necessary. Then you got to take your scratch paper. In this case, we're just using the rest of the sheet that we cut this off of. And you just kind of, this doesn't have to be as good. It's just here to protect the press. You just kind of wrap it around the whole thing, kind of like the outside of a burrito. And again, you take your tape, and out in the margins, apply a couple of pieces of tape. A couple of things to note. The circumference of the bottle is 10 inches. Most heat presses are not capable of actually doing a full 10 inch around, the, it's a thing called a full bleed. So make sure that you understand with your press the dimensions that you can that you can actually press. And make sure that it's a little bit smaller just to allow for margin. Secondarily, you want to make sure that you have the ink of the transfer against the bottle, tape, and your safety paper. That's it. Now we're going to go to the press. So, now it's time to move to the press. In order to do this, you're going to need a pair of heat press gloves, a pair of tweezers, and, of course, your wrapped mug from earlier. Start off by putting your heat press gloves on. This is hot! In this case, it's 380 degrees. That's pretty hot. You want heat press gloves. Your, set, your vendor should give you a, a uh, starting point for what you need for your time and temperature. In this case, it's 380 degrees and 60 to 75 seconds. Our experiments that we've done with other mugs in the pa other mugs and similar things in the past show that a bottle like this, 65 seconds is about where we're going to start. So that's where we're going to go. Also, I've made little pen scribe marks where the edge of the image is. It's very important to center the image in where the actual press is. We'll explain why, we'll explain why in a minute. Should be pretty obvious. So we're going to carefully insert this, being sure to use those scribe marks to get the image centered in. Also, we want to make sure that the gap is up, because when we close the press, the gap isn't really going to get any heat, and that's where we don't want any image to be. So, when you think you're good, you close the press. Your time starts. It takes 65 seconds. We'll be back in a minute of TV time. got about 10 seconds left on the press, so we're getting ready. Again, we have our hot glove on, we have our tweezers to stand by. Our particular press starts beeping with five seconds to go. When it reaches zero, you open up, 
This is hot. Grab it with your hot gloves. Pull it out cleanly and bring it back to your work table. You want to remove the paper while things are hot. So what you want to do is you want to take the tweezers and you want to get in here underneath the paper, kind of cut the tape and peel off. Remember, you've got two layers of paper. The first one is just scrap paper, so it's not that important how neat you are. This one, you want to be a little bit more careful with. You get in, underneath the tape, and peel it up. Peel it away, and peel your image. And there's your final product. As you can see, the color comes up excellently, and because I had everything aligned perfectly, I have nice crisp edges and everything is good. So, what can happen if you don't line things up? Here's one we did earlier. As you can see, again, the colors are really crisp, but we have this big gap. What happened? What happened was this was in the piece of the press that didn't get any heat. No heat, no heat transfer. So this piece, unfortunately, goes to our pile of abject failure. We have a large one of those. It's okay. This one, however, we are very happy with. So, that's your 30 ounce Polar Camel water bottle. These also come with a silver background instead of the white, but they work exactly the same. Gene and I would love to make one or more of those for your hydration needs. Just drop us a line at the link below. That's about all for now. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see our new videos when they come out, and we'll see you soon here at Gina's Goodies. Good night.